And then I'm going to do um, a little wing liner. Oh, and I use the Too True waterproof black uh, liquid liner because it's my favourite one. Put that stuff back. And the best way. Oh, got a little. There we go. The best way I find of doing liquid liner is to place yourself above a mirror, so you've got a mirror at this angle underneath you, and look down into it. The, this liner is really easy to use because it's quite stiff, but not too stiff. And what I do is I just place a blob there, and then I just flip my hand around, and it's kind of like a dot to dot just to get the first line in and then really really lightly on the inside again with the evening of that evening of <laughs> the evenness of eyes and whatever one eye one flick will always look better than the other just I can never get them the same the idea is to follow the line of your bottom the bottom of your eyelid but it's not always that easy okay and then just fill in any little bits in the lash line the point of the Turn. That's kind of alright, I guess. I'm going to look up to see the shape consistent. And then I tend to kind of just grab my eyelashes and take any of the, see, any of the eyeliner off because if you leave it, it'll dry and then when you put your mascara on, it'll snag and it looks a bit kind of like cakey. <coughs> right, I have to do that on this eye. You'll see this will go differently, I bet you. Any money. Okay, so this one is done. This one is nearly there. It's quite even, actually. I shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> um, this one I always have to lift up for some reason. I can never get a clean line without doing that. pretty even today that's amazing <laughs> so that's my wing eyeliner um, and then I'm going to use um, this collagen curl I did buy this recently which is the Falsies um, black drama it's the one with like the fibers in but I don't know if it's really me it comes out quite like spidery so it's gone back in the box I don't I don't really use it it's not this isn't great this one I need to buy a new one but I don't have any money so I wiggle it into the base this is something that I never used to do I used to just whack it on and not bother doing this bit but it does make so much difference it looks like you've lined the inside as well and it makes you Lashes look a lot thicker. Get that into the corner. And then... Mascara face. Okay. go. One eye. See, look, I didn't wipe the uh, liner off this one, and there's little snaggy bits on the top. 
probably can't see because I probably just need to zoom in but my camera does not zoom whilst it's videoing I'm in the process of uh, well my husband is in the process of maybe getting a new camera it's going to be next month I think but we'll have to see it'll be uh, really cool if we do get one because I'm fed up with it it does the job but it's not really like that great at zooming in and if I do end up doing more of these makeup ones then uh, I'll definitely want one that can you know you can actually see stuff with <laughs> okay so that's my eyes my eyebrows my lip my eyeliner that is pretty much me done because I don't tend to wear a lot of lipstick I do like the um, Benetin and Positin by um, Benefit. Um, I think I'll probably go for the slightly lighter one today. It's a very, very, very pink looking glue, gooey stuff, but it doesn't look that. It's quite sheer. And it stains it to a certain degree, not like crazy. The Benetin one does stain a, bit, a lot better than this one, but because it's darker I guess so that's like a really sheer pink and then I'll sod it, I'm going to have a little bit of gloss today I bought these the other day they're Revlon colour bursts I thought they were absolutely gorgeous this orange one is so cute with like a 50s look and this pink one I couldn't resist because it's really shiny and shimmery I'm not really a lip, a lip gloss kind of person I just find my hair sticks in it and stuff. <laughs> but I think in moderation, it's quite nice. Right, so that's my face done. This is the fun bit with my fringe. My hair's been up in a bun overnight so that it will be wavy it's not going to be like perfect uh, retro curls or anything because I don't have the patience to do that all the time <laughs> not like the ladies of the 50s used to set their hair and everything I if I had the time and <laughs> look at my fringe it's hilarious okay so I just literally just brush it down as you can see this side always kicks out and I use a little bit of um, Studio Hot Curl Spray L'Oreal and just give it a little bit of dampness just because the best time that it goes the, the time that it goes the best is, is when it's just been washed and dried and there's no product on it but we shall see how it goes today because it had product on it yesterday so and I just use my straighteners and curl under and then I always aim it downwards because I like the tops, the sides to be higher so there's a little bit under there that's not gone this side is usually much better than the other as you will probably see in it excuse me, my nose is running for some reason My phone's ringing. In a minute. Okay, sorry, phone call. Um, yeah, just try and get this side as even as possible to the other side because it always kicks out the opposite way to what I want it. It's not so bad. And then. Just bring that in a little bit. I must say, if you're tempted to get a fringe like Betty Page fringe, like what I'm trying to attempt to get, um, they are a bit high maintenance. I cut my fringe myself. Sometimes it goes better than others. <laughs> At the moment, it's not so bad. It's pretty even. But there's always little stray bits, so I tend to keep my 
scissors and just trim them from bits off. They're usually bits that come through from the back the rest of your hair, but let's try that again. It's just being really annoying. I knew it would be. Just for you guys it'll be annoying, so I think that's the best it's gonna get today because I can't be bothered to faff around with it. So fringe set, hairspray, this is the best hairspray in the world by the way and it's seriously cheap as well and I just, to get it looking a bit more structured, just brush the hairspray into it a bit and that will stay pretty much. right. Take this out. This is going to look really funny, I expect. My roots are terrible. I'm redoing my hair next, this Friday coming, so. I might do pictures whilst I'm um, having it done because then you'll be able to see the process, I guess. Okay, so it's really fluffy, but it will look better when I've finished. Okay, just a bit of serum. This is the Kerastase uh, Lumiere Nutri Sculpt. I don't know what it is. I've had it for years, but it's really good. Shake it, a bit in your palm, and it's really thick, sticky stuff, and you have to really work at it, and then all of a sudden, it will go really slippery, and that's when you use it. <laughs> One, two, come on, go. There it goes. Right, just cover your fingers in it and just run it through mainly the front bits because that's what you see mostly. And it just kind of takes, tames the frizz out of it a little bit because when you put it up overnight, you'll see you're sleeping on it, it's getting all fuzzy. So annoying. It doesn't help that I'm a Virgo and I can't stop fiddling. Okay, so that's pretty much how it's going to look. And then you just kind of pull at it and make it a bit fluffier. Well, not fluffier, but... Next time I dye it, I'm doing it all the purple. So this is really dark red under here. Well, it was it's the live Swatchcuff live purple stuff, but it's gone really weird. And this is just seriously pink now. <laughs> Except for the roots, obviously. And you just kind of scrunch up the sides. Obviously you had it up at night and it goes all tight to your head. And then what am I going to do with it? I'm going to wear a hairband. It's just this plain. This is a bit of a tricky one to do if you've got a fringe. Kind of work it in. There we go. Okay, let's pull a little bit through from the side. There's more on that side. And that's me done, pretty much. And then if I'm going out, I'll spray it and keep it as curly as this. But because I'm not going out anywhere, I'm not going to bother. So yeah, that's me. And um, I put these on even though I, they do give me a headache. Because all my glasses give me a headache. Great. But there, that's me. I hope you like it. And if you want me to do any other videos, um, makeup videos and stuff, I can just like focus on my eyes now. I've done my face and everything. Because um, I do do a lot of like really colourful rainbow eyes and stuff like that. Um, if you're interested, let me know and I'll do some more. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to go and draw my logo for my business. Because I need to do it, I've been putting it off all weekend. Bye!